history, even the, during the French colonization, the period of the Khmer Rouge was the most devastating. From 1975 to 1979, 20 to 41% of the population was lost to brutal murder, or starvation, disease, and exhaustion brought on in the labor camps. The result of this horrible period still impact many Cambodians today, including my grandmother. Um, her name is Sophani Nun. First, I would like to point out where Cambodia is. Cambodia is a country that is located in Southeast Asia, and it is a country that is located in between Vietnam and Thailand. And one of the reasons why I want to point this out because I want to explain how the Khmer Rouge started. In 1970, the king of Cambodia was deposed from a military coup by Don Nol, who was the president of the new right-wing government um, called the Khmer Republic. Under Don Nol, the Vietnam War, the Vietnam War spread into Cambodia, and Don Nol allowed the U.S. troops to feel free to move into the country, or uh, basically let the American borrow our land. Um, after the post from the military coup, uh, coup the king support the Khmer Rouge, a communist guerrilla group. The communist guerrilla group. The Khmer Rouge believed that instead of having classes of society, everyone should be classless. The poorest people should rule the country. Most of the population should be rural agricultural workers. According to my grandma, the terrible period of Cambodian, geno um, Cambodian genocide began on April 17, 1975, right after the Vietnam War was over. This happened when the American troops left Cambodia and the Khmer Rouge force took over Phnom Penh, the capital city of Cambodia. The Khmer Rouge told all the people in the city to leave their house immediately because the, um, into the countryside because the Americans were going to bomb the entire city. The Khmer Rouge promised that, um, the Khmer Rouge promised to the people in the city that they would be back to their house within the night too, but that was a lie. Um, Life changed dramatically from a bright morning into a nightmare of fear and suffering, she said. The Khmer Rouge killed all the people that were refused to leave their houses. The attack on the Cambodian people did not stop there, she continued. Over time, all educated people were murdered by the Khmer Rouge, such as doctor, engineer, teacher, scientist, and other professional people, including the military officer together with their families. People were not allowed to talk about religion. If the Khmer Rouge found out that anyone was talking about it, they were those people would be murdered. And so were those people who knew how to speak other language. Even laughing, crying, or wearing glasses was a reason to be killed. All the farm worker was slain. People were sent to different collective farm where the where they had to remain, also known as the killing field. No freedom of movement was allowed. Workday were long, and only small ration of food was supplied. All workers uh, wore the clothes that was distributed. Workers were further restricted by not being allowed to pick their own marriage <coughs> partner. The children were taken away. Uh, from their parents and place them in labor camps. Most of the kids were taught how to be soldiers um, and to kill their own people and to believe that their only real family was the Khmer Rouge. Um, that's a picture of my grandma. Um, the Khmer Rouge regime had come to an end in 1979 after the, Viet the Vietnamese army invaded Cambodia. By the Vietnamese defeating the leader of the Khmer Rouge, they brought relief of, um, to the Cambodian people from a horrible um, period of the Khmer Rouge. The Vietnamese army forced the Khmer Rouge into Thailand. However, the leader and his followers still continued to attack Cambodia and plant thousands of landmines that still kill many Cambodian people today. This horrible time period had big impact on many Cambodians and my grandma's life. The Khmer Rouge tear her family apart 
wife and by separating her from her beloved father and husband. My grandma never see her husband again since the day she left her house in the city into the countryside.